I've had a couple of people asking questions like, I'm using natural based products to lighten my skin, brighten my skin, whiten my skin. Do I still need to skin build, even though I'm not using steroids, hydroquinone and so on? I will be answering that question in this video and I would be showing you a few products you can use to skin build and probably I would also be telling you how to skin build, when to skin build, how to go about it. So if any of these things are what you're interested in, then you therefore want to keep watching to the end. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is the first time I've seen my beautiful face here, hi. My name is Claire on the channel of Skincare Videos. So yes, let me answer that question you have been asking. Do you need to skin build even despite the fact that you are not using hydroquinone based products? Your products are, are plant-based. They, they are made out of um, liquorized, um, lemon extract, blah, 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 okay? Yes, I want to answer that question today. I'm going to be addressing that. And of course, I'm going to be showing you a few products that you, can, that you can use to skin build and how to go about it. And this second part of the video is a recommended something. It's a requested something. Sorry. Yeah. So, you who is saying you don't want, you think you shouldn't skin build because... You are using a product that is made of glutathione, it's made of um, kojic acid, it's made of alpha botin, and so on and so forth. Who told you that that is the only product you are having in your cream? That is the only ingredient you are having in your cream. Have you gone for a test? Have you taken that product to the lab to be sure that that is the only those are the only ingredients those are the actives mind you some of these manufacturers hide some ingredients and you cannot tell unless you take them to the lab okay but let's assume let us assume let us say that your your manufacturer hasn't used any harsh chemicals glutathione steroids mercury all this does this bad stuff into your in your product let's assume okay you still need to skin build because the reason you are skin building as um, because when you are lightening your skin your skin has a tendency of becoming thin you are thinning out your skin you think you are just playing with your complexion but no your skin the texture of your skin too is affected when you are altering your skin complexion okay so darling you have to skin build because you are lightening up your skin and your skin is getting thinner and thinner okay so skin build Coming to the second part of it, do you need to skin build? By the way, if you are still watching me and you do not even understand what I'm talking about, what is skin building, what is she talking about, I have already done a video about skin building. I'm going to show, I'm going to try to link the video somewhere for you guys who don't know what I'm talking about to go back and watch so you can be able to follow up, okay? And for those who are asking how to skin build, like which products to use to skin build, let me start with the products to use to skin build. Personally, this butter, this is my body butter. This is my body butter. This is it. Let me show you. This is it. This is it. This is it in my palm, okay? This is my body butter. I made this myself. I didn't buy it, okay? I didn't buy this butter. I made it myself. And um, when you ask in building, you want to use products that are very, very natural. If you can make your own products yourself, if you can whip up butters yourself, then that will be fine because that way you know exactly what is in that product. But then if you can't whip up butters like I did, I didn't just whip up this butter. This is an emulsified body butter made by me, packed full of uh, with beautiful, amazing body nourishing oils and all whatnot, okay? And butters, hard oils and liquid oils. So if you don't have time or you don't know how to go about it and you don't want to buy it from those who do it, you can as well go to the shop to buy something like this. This is um, this is Jergens and this has um, shea butter and we all infuse and rich in shea butter, okay? This is Jergens. I've reviewed this one on this channel as well. This is one of my very first videos on the channel. I've reviewed it. This is a good one for bodybuilding. The whole essence is you want to use natural oils, a natural lotions, especially, especially, I repeat, I emphasize, lotions that have butters in it, whether avocado butter, whether um, concombre butter, whether um, shea butter, whether cocoa butter, whether mango butter, whether almond butter. Honestly speaking, um, shea butter and cocoa butter 
they are just the best for skin building okay you want to do that or you go with vaseline cocoa butter you see you can see vaseline cocoa glow it has when you look at the ingredients it's got cocoa butter in it so you go for products that are based with that are made with a lot of butters and oils not only butters butters and oil because you want to replenish your skin you want to 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 glow your skin at the same time you want to firm up your skin that is it so now how do you do it when should you do it personally i've said it on this channel many times that i don't do skin lightening or skin brightening during the day during the day i go with my body butter or a regular moisturizer that's why you see me reviewing many 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 moisturizers i use a moisturizer during the day and then during the weekends after exfoliation i can choose to go again with body butters okay so i can take two days in a week just to use natural butters now it's up to you you can choose to do it two days in a week you're using natural oils for me i don't really have too much issue because i don't even use lighting products on my skin two times in a week i only use it two times in a day i only use them once in a day so i don't really have a big issue but if you are somebody who is using it morning evening morning evening morning evening i would advise that you make out two days in a week just to use natural oils and butters on your skin okay that is it and then if you don't want to go that way you can choose to use one week one week two weeks use lighting butters lighting creams one week use um natural lotions just like that you alternate or or if you think that is not comfortable for you you maybe three weeks in a month you are using your lighting product one week in a month you are using body butters okay the whole idea is look at your skin sometimes your skin is communicating to you you are seeing your veins are all over your knuckles are dark your, your like your skin is thin you don't you don't look nice you look you look bad your skin is telling you i need to be fed you need to feed your skin if you don't know all these lighting products they have chemicals in them that dry out the skin whether they are plant-based or not excuse me they have chemicals in them that dry out your skin just imagine a product that is made of lemon you know lemon is acidic so it dries out your skin it plays with your skin texture so you want to try to skin build okay so choose it's up to you whether two days in a week you are doing weekends you can choose during weekends saturdays and sundays you are using you are doing bodybuilding and then continue the rest of the week your lighting products or you choose once in it in one week in three weeks or you choose okay after you do lighting two months and then you do them um, skin building two weeks anyhow you want to do it but keep an eye on your skin okay so i hope this helps i didn't want this video to be very long i hope it helps you and if you find it helpful please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that up to now and i'll be seeing you in my next video until then